Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 4. Time for day 23. And Russ ought to have some new stuff. Oh. Ah. Another cleared out a new section area. Cleared out a new area section. Mm. Whatever. They cleared out more space. After many castaway requests, we're adding even more space to the rescue command post. Hopefully, this will ensure all the castaways stay comfortable while they're here. We have enough space now that I'm sure we can fit anyone else while we, re we rescue while we're on this planet. Everyone you've rescued pulled together to give this to you as a way of saying thank you. I believe it's more raw material. Okay. Plus 20 Bye. materials. So that was just, you know, another area back here that I already had access to. But now there's another way in, rather than having to go the long way. Osa! Hey, you're the one who saved me, yeah? Haha! -ha. Am I ever grateful for you, my friend? I came here to investigate this place from an archaeological perspective. See, I'm trying to reconstruct collapsed structures and really just investigate all sorts of fascinating stuff. I plan to write a paper based on what I find. Everyone in my field is going to dig it! Haha, <laughs> just a little archaeology joke there. Okay, but what's your side quest? So, I heard you use raw materials to make bridges and, well, all sorts of things. Did I get that right? I did? That's great. Just what I wanted to hear. The thing is, I'd love it if you could tell me when you build something. Would you mind? Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't ask you to do it for free. No, no, I'll give you something to show my appreciation. Whoa, you build all that? Build 10 structures, okay. Hey, are you a professional builder? Well, you are now, haha! -ha. Build 20 structures, and I've got 17 already. Three more shouldn't take me too long, I imagine. Okay, okay, next up, let's see if you can get 20 things built. All this hard work is going to lead to a breakthrough, I'm sure of it. Okay. I'm not sure what kind of breakthrough he's expecting, but, yeah, whatever. It's not like I'm not going to build things to make traversal easier. So where's the new student? Ah, here she is. My name's Keish. I came to the planet on a field trip with my high school planetary science club and wound up stranded. I'm grateful to you for rescuing me. Thank you. I was so happy to see Miss Mika and Sheba from the Planetary Science Club are okay. I guess Kaya hasn't been found yet. Please keep searching for her. Okay, uh, so I guess the individual students do not have side quests. Ow. Do you think all of my students are okay? I know there's not much use in fretting about it. It's just that the more I try not to think about it, the more awful things I imagine. I can't help but fear the worst. You found Quiche! Oh wow, thank you! So that leaves Kaya. She must have gotten lost somewhere. It's kind of interesting that whistles are a standard issue on environment suits in the in the Pikmin series. Let's see. I'm tempted to do another nighttime mission. I mean I have two leaflings to heal up. But, no. Let's talk to Russ to see what new stuff he's gotten. <laughs> and then I'll head back to Serene Shores again. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Treasure Gauge Plus and Sniff Saver. Now you can see the total amount and locations of the treasure. Time 
to go back and double check your work. Huh. That's certainly useful. Sniff saver. Ochi's keen olfactory instincts leave him vulnerable to poisonous aromas, but this but science can dissolve those toxins. Okay, so it uh, makes him similar to a white Pikmin. Immune to poison. And there are poisonous mushrooms in this game, are there? That makes perfect sense, but there haven't been in any other Pikmin game. That's something new. Okay, well, I think that's worth it. And treasure gauge plus, you know what? Yes. Let's see, that leaves me 148. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's... I think that's it for now. Okay, and I think I have three pup drive points. Okay. Yes, I have three. Hmm. I could teach him faster swimming. No way, that's not faster swimming. That's just he can carry stuff and attack enemies even in the water. Um, uh, wow, that was weird. I suddenly heard music playing nearby. I hope that didn't come through on the mic. Or heck, maybe it should come through on the mic so that you can enjoy it. Hmm. Heal? Uh, I haven't needed it all that much. Hmm. What's Mega Rush level 2 do? Increases damage caused when he smacks into them. Hmm. I use the rush fairly frequently. So this might be worth it, but I don't have enough pup drive points for it. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to save up for Mega Rush level 2. All right, back to Serene Shore as we go. Let's see. Um, last time I wasn't able to go up that sand castle. Or perhaps more accurately, I got distracted from going up that sand castle. Let's actually do that this time. And the civilians are just so excited to see us heading off into danger. Dancing about like they are. 86 treasures total. Ooh. I definitely saw another landing site up at the top of the sandcastle once before. There was a scorpion-like monster guarding it. So I'm going to need to go up there and kill the thing. And then I can uh, start landing up there. I don't know what advantage that'll have, but... Absolutely be worth it, in my opinion. Uh, let's go with half and half. <clears throat> ah, 
I wonder how to get more um, <clears throat> white Pikmin. That's a treasure up there. That's what that. I was about to say, what's that yellow star like thing? It's a treasure, obviously. Let's see, is this the way up to the top? I can hear something making noise. Whoa. Okay. Let's present a smaller target. Where is it coming from? There is where it's coming from. Okay, you... Ice and blue. That's annoying. Alright, let's see what else have we up here. Whoa! Another one of these guys! We're here, dude. What the heck is going on here? Ah. That was annoying. What the? Okay, now I am really irritated. Ah, darn it. Come on, everyone get back over here! Man, that, that was a disaster. with the way my thumb kept jabbing the Y button instead of the B button. Okay, can I get them up there? Looks like no, I need yellows. Okay, let's see. There's got to be... Another one, yeah, I knew it. That one was a lot more painless. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. I was saying scorpion monster, but that looks more like a lizard. Does it? Okay, what are you gonna do? Come on, what you gonna do? Okay, which side do I want to attack him from? That's the real problem. Okay. Everyone 
everyone get back. Everyone get back up. Oh dear. Okay. How did I manage to do it before? Is he gonna fall over the edge? He looked like he almost fell over the edge. Ah, what the? Ah, this is getting really irritating. I'm trying to push B and I keep missing the button. Stupid oversized thumb. Oh, get over here, darn you! What is wrong with you guys? <sighs> How did I do it before? is when I have my thumb down on the uh, rush button I can't control the camera Not now, game! Interrupting me right when I'm in the middle of this. really tired of not being able to aim this properly. Uh, I'm at like half my force. going that way. It seems like the long way. Oh, they're just going over the edge. Never mind. Oh, there's a couple rubber duckies there. What the? Where are you going? Seriously, where are you guys going? Talk about a pathing error. full squad out so that I don't have to pluck sprouts. Oh my god! 
goodness, where are those guys going? What is wrong with you guys? Oh, boy. Okay, feeling a little bit more relaxed. Try again and don't mess up the pathing this time. Uh, it appears to be too much to ask for from these guys. Despite the pathing issues just now, I am feeling a bit more relaxed after stepping away from that boss fight. Killed it so quickly that it wasn't even able to get frozen. That's actually kind of impressive. Jeez, maybe I should have gone for Ochi's better healing skill. Because it actually would have been very useful <laughs> considering how badly I was messing up up there. Oh, I didn't get all of it. This was kind of a disaster to stay, but at least I got some things. Why are you guys just standing there? Might as well deal with this one here. fast can you get that done? Because we're kind of running low on time. Uh-oh. Oh, ran out of time. That's too bad. Okay. Let's see. What else might I be able to take care of tomorrow?
Oh, I could go get the watermelon over there. Maybe. This probably requires a lot of carrying capacity. Oh. This episode is pretty short since I didn't find any new caves. Hmm. Well, as long as I've got the extra recording time, let's do a nighttime excursion. Okay, and then that lizard guy, I want to hit him on his backside to stun him, and then send my Pikmin at his tail. Might be better if I not riding Ochi. And that way I can make him rush without knocking the Pikmin onto the guy and causing three quarters of them to be beating on the wrong part of his body. Yeah. Well, at least I got a few uh, treasures. But yeah, that's not a great day. 42%. Huh. But yeah, maybe if I go in not riding Ochi. Wait, look at all the ice pigment I lost. But if I go in not riding Ochi, I can have him rush at the guy's tail without sending my Pikmin beating on the wrong parts of his body. And then I could just have them all rush his tail. That might work better. Hey Dingo, isn't it about time you got back out there and helped us search for the missing castaways? Maybe, but who's going to protect the rescue command post while I'm gone? And it has been helpful to have Dingo on call to provide any necessary guidance for Mr. Math. I suppose I hadn't considered it that way. Well, be sure to consider it in the future. That was a close one. <laughs> New side mission. Yes, building goodwill. Uh, think of it as helping out a pal. I'd like you to build a bunch of structures and report on me. Think of it as helping out a pal. Um, that's kind of presumptuous of you, Osa. We literally only just met. You're not exactly a pal. But if you're going to be paying me, then eh, maybe. Although I gotta say, 20 material for all of that is kind of a chintzy reward. Okay, what other side missions are there? Ah, here we go. Building Goodwill 1, which I've completed. Yeah, there we go. Alright then. On to day 24. Let's do that night excursion. And uh, cure one of the leaflets. Or, you know, hopefully cure one of the leaflings. I'll have to succeed at the night mission first. Okay, Russ, what have you got? Maybe I'll get uh, the air armor. Mm, a little bit expensive, but it should still leave me enough material to do stuff. I buy both of them. Yeah, so now I have 74 left, which should be more than enough. Okay. Night expedition. The leaflings are just... Wow, the more I examine them, the more fascinating they become. Gee, I better save them quickly then. <laughs> Don't want to turn them into scientific experiments for this guy. Ruby. 
These areas have been approved for night expeditions. Okay. Hmm. Okay, meandering slope, danger 205. Hmm. Misshapen pond, danger 205. Serene shores, one or two. Well, I don't know. The, the one, the, the one out of five dangers seem kind of rough as they are. Doing work, doing more danger than that? I don't know. I'm going to have to eventually, I suppose, but still. Okay. Blossoming dunes. Even if your glow Pikmin perish, they won't be included in the number of lost Pikmin. Interesting. Trick knolls are linked to luminals by underground stems. If glow pellets are transported to either one, the luminal will produce glow Pikmin. Okay, a puffy blowhog. One of those flying beetles I forget the name of. And a water dimple. That's what I saw right there. Can Glow Pikmin go in the water? There's a bunch of stuff out there. Okay, they can do that. Interesting. Okay, I definitely have to remember that.
that wasn't everything, was it? No, not even close. Oh, that's not good looking. Not OG. Oh, blast it. supposed to do this then? I'm, obviously I've been doing it wrong. Okay, well, don't get hurt. You won't work for me if you do. Hmm. Should I go after them proactively rather than just waiting for them to come? But then others might come from another direction and get in behind. And, uh, I'm just not good at this kind of thing. trick nails. Yeah, I know they're attacking a trick mole, Yanni. Guys are not hitting him. Oh, 
Oh, this is not good at all. Get him! Oh, what the heck? Why did they not attack it? Okay, that was... Either I wasn't aiming correctly, or they were just missing those flying bugs. I'm kind of inclined to believe the first, honestly. But still, that was annoying. Maybe I should have tried using the mine. I haven't been using the items much. I keep forgetting about that. Hmm. Well, I got through it at least. But darn, if I'm having that much trouble on the 1 out of 5 difficulty, how in the world am I going to handle the 2 out of 5 difficulty? I guess I just should just try a 2 out of 5 difficulty and see how bad it really is. Yeah, defeated all 36 creatures. Okay, we're going to cure the pink guy this time. And hey, I have Pup Drive... Four points. That's enough to get the next Mega Rush. I collected 14, really. Wow. What an incredible discovery. Glow Pikmin, even when touched by fire or electricity, are fine. Completely unharmed. Well, that sounds downright useful. Oh, that's not all. <laughs> Neither water nor poison bother them the least bit either. That's it. We must train ourselves to be as strong as Glow Pikmin. If they can do it, we can too, right? I'm pretty sure there are no amount of training that will make us impervious to fire. Well, you know, Russ made that anti-fire suit works fine for me. Uh, well. I guess he's not wrong, though. There's no amount of training. Rather, it's, you know, shielding. Artificial shielding. But, eh. Either way, yes, I'm impervious to fire, and electricity, and ice. But at least when it comes to uh, in immunities, Glow Pikmin have all of them, it would appear. It's too bad they have such limited use, only during nighttime excursions or in caves. 
and in caves they're probably only temporary I throw glow seeds and they'll come out but then they only last as long as the cave is there and they only last as long as I'm in the cave as long as the cave is there well that's a silly way to put it uh, well overall this was a fairly frustrating day I guess technically it was two days but still kind of frustrating that scorpion-esque lizard on the top of the sandcastle gave me a lot of trouble I didn't find any new caves and I had to try the nighttime excursion twice still it wasn't all bad I got a few more treasures and um, at least I figured out a potential strategy for that uh, lizard on top of the sandcastle so we'll see how well that works out. In the next episode, however, because I need a break. Thanks for watching Let's Play Pikmin 4. And like I just said, in the next episode, we'll go back to Serene Shores and see if we can give that lizard what for and find more caves and, you know, just stuff. See you then.